we're gonna graft up this tree today. What we have is, this is rootstock, and the rootstock is called Jul uh, St. Julian A, type A. Um, it's a relatively universal rootstock. Uh, what the rootstock's good for is it's um, fairly universal and allows for different types of prunus, you know, the plum, apricot, uh, cherry, etc., cetera, uh, to be grafted on top of it. So what I'm going to do is take this known variety of apricot, it's called nougar, uh, and I will be grafting it onto here so we wind up with a nougar tree, of uh, nougar apricot. First thing I'm going to do is use some rubbing alcohol to sterilize both my hands and the tools that I'll be uh, working with. So I just took a cotton swab here and we'll get some rubbing alcohol in here. And I'm going to wipe off my fingers and then I will use the rubbing alcohol and the same thing to clean off my tools. Oops. And my clippers here. And there we go. So now that's all sterilized. What you want to do is generally line this up the same thickness here on the on the root stock as it is on uh, the cyan wood that I'll be placing onto here. So this will be a little bit tough. This is fairly skinny. Uh, normally you'd want to graft it further down, um, but it's not quite um, e even there. So um, I'll probably move it up a little bit, keep it a little bit high, and uh, finagle it a little bit and see if we can get it to work. So uh, I think what I'll do, again, trying to match up the thickness somewhere around here. It's not quite the same, but it's close enough. So what I'm going to do is clip it right here. Okay, so I've clipped it straight across. I'm gonna get rid of the top piece. Don't need that anymore. Then on the rootstock itself, notice that there's a branch coming off the side. We don't want any buds or anything uh, growing down there. So I'm going to cut this off and get rid of that. So now we've got this. And um, we've got the piece up here. Um, it's actually a fairly big piece, so I'm going to clip this in half. And uh, you only need a couple buds. So there we go. So I'm going to get rid of the top of that. This will be my grafting stick here. Try to graft at least a couple more. And uh, there's different types of tape. There's a wax tape. There's a cellophane tape. Uh, and there are other types of stuff. Uh, for this, uh, this time I'm going to use the uh, wax tape. It's called parafilm. You can buy it up at uh, most garden supply places. Um, and I'm going to wrap it up. The reason why I'm going to wrap it up is uh, to keep it from drying out. That's a real critical thing. Uh, you don't want your uh, rootstock to dry out. So I'm going to pull it, stretch it, and I'm going to wrap it around. Wrap this whole thing. Pull it tight. I'm just twisting it as I go here. Make sure everything's covered up. Uh, yeah, do you want one to take one with you? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, uh -huh. Just wrapping this up. Yeah, I would definitely think. I just should uh, take that one. Let's see if I can get this done one. here. Okay, so wrapping it up, wrapping it up. And I'll go almost to the very bottom of this. I won't do the very bottom because actually that's where I'm going to be cutting. I'll go back up a little bit, wrap it around, break it off, and then just mash it down. And it's a little sticky, so it sticks fine. And now, this is all sealed up, so there's no moisture getting in to the stick. Um, I'm gonna cut the end off here, make it flat. Okay, so it's flat. Then on this piece, I'm going to do what's called a cleft or a saddle graft. So I'm going to cut straight down here, straight down the middle of the stick, I'm going to cut a wedge into the scion wood here and then stick the wedge in there. I'm going to tie it up. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is very carefully, I'm going to do this in the center, the very center, and I'm going to rock it back and forth. Just rock it gently back and forth. And the box cutter or your knife will just go down the center of it. Okay, so I've got a nice split down the center. I'll turn this around so you can see it. So straight down the center. Now on the cyan wood, I'm going to cut off the little buds on the tip because we don't need those. Then I'm going to then cut a flat thing out of the center. So 
I'm going to go right here. I'm going to push down, and then I'm going to very carefully cut out like that. And I'm going to flip it around to the other side and do the exact same thing. I'm going to push down and cut out. Okay, and you can see it's starting to get both sides cut there. I'm going to do that till it's a very skinny piece. David a stick of this. Alright, so right now that's yeah. very skinny. And I'm going to put this in the center here. here. Yeah. Gonna rock it back and forth so it's nice and snug in there. And because this one was slightly off-centered, I'm gonna move it towards the side, and make sure that the cambium layers are touching. The cambium layers are the green part of the stick. And that's the part that actually grows. So see that right there? So that right now is right on the edge. And then I'm gonna tie that up real tight. And the way I'm gonna to do it is with this kind of tape. This is just your normal garden wrap up green tape. I'm gonna take a section of this. And I'm gonna pull this real tight. You have to be a little careful with this, but not too bad. Pull it tight. Okay, pull this tight. Real That's tight. Trees that are Not so tight as to break the tape, though, and, obviously. And birds with shelter and contributing okay, to the tight. There's a lot of benefit. Uh, wrap it all the way around. Our own it tight. You, you want to have it, no, have a little bit of tension it. on it so that um, it uh, <laughs> wants to tighten itself onto the uh, graft. Yeah. So tightening this around. So from that standpoint, so I'm kind of tight. proud of us, you know? I'm going to wrap it back down. The very top part, you got to be super careful because that's where the graft is. Pull it around, pull it around. So now it's really tight on here, and then I'm just going to tie it, tie a knot. Yeah, I like the bit, um, you know, just because that's beautiful yeah. surfaces. Okay, so I'm pulling it tight. Oops. Actually, I'm okay there because it's still tied. It depends on but what normally, I'm doing. you don't want to pull like that tight to break. So that's Although, basically your graft, and it's done. Grafted, the most important thing at this time. point is to label yeah, everything. Yeah. I you typically really double label that, that everything. So we know this variety is called Nugar. So I'm going to, on some grafting tape, write down Nugar. Yeah, you want me to do one? Would you guys like to see it? And then if I can figure, if I can put under what tape, yeah, why don't you label it and just wrap it around here. And then the last thing um, is you typically want to keep this in the shade. So what you can do is actually put a bag over it, uh, let it sit there for a while. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. Um, when it starts leafing out, um, pull the bag off and let it do its thing. You want to get it in the ground roughly as soon as you can. Um, but uh, that's it.